Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon and today I'm going to have set up and play the game SCART. Now there's been a request, this is a playthrough as well. And Sigal, I think you need to join us online on Board Game Arena. We've just started uh, to uh, start that off. So you need to go to boardgamearena.com. We're talking via Discord and uh, this is for Sigal's benefit. She is dialing in from Israel or dialing or typing in, however you want to call it because she played it with her grandfather and she was very keen to understand it. There are other videos available, such as on YouTube, but she saw my video and she thought, based on what she saw with me, I happened to be gaming somewhere and getting a WhatsApp messages from her saying, oh, please can you teach me this game, teach me how to score the points and stuff like that. So a very quick introduction, just whilst waiting for Seagal to join us online, is all about the game of Skart. So this game came out in Germany in the early part of the 19th century, between about 1910, 1920, there or thereabouts over in Leipzig. And it's based on the Wendish game of Schafkopf. This is a game a bit like Doppelkopf meets Wizard, which is a three player game. You can play it with other players, but typically it's a three. And what you're choosing to do in this particular game is you are going to be one player, typically against two other players. And as a solo player, you're looking to bid you're going to have some advantages and try and score more points than those other two players put together. Now, the advantage you have is um, a fantastic Sigal is joining us and hopefully she can hear me talking. The fact is that you're going to have some advantages whereby you can choose a trick potentially. You could also, in addition to choosing a trick, is that you can choose, of course, whatever trick you want it to be. And you can draw some extra cards and discard them and choose what you want to play. Draw, typically drawing 12 cards and playing 10. So right in front of me, I can see some cards. No one else can presently. But of course, at Seagal, when uh, she watches this video, she'll see what I have. and Hopefully that makes some indication of what we're doing. So right in front of me, I have a various set of cards in front of me and they have various ranks. So the jacks are very important, as are the aces typically. And based on what I see, of course, I can change the card order, at least on Board Game Arena. And if you want to see other games on Board Game Arena, you can, of course, check those on the playlist. I have a Board Game Arena playlist, I have a playthrough playlist. I've had a setup play and review playlist. You can find that all on YouTube, as well as many others, such as traditional card games. In addition to that, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. There are new videos coming all the time, over 40 planned. In addition to that, please ensure you check out the Instagram links as well as Patreon to support. And in fact, I do have a new microphone, which can't seem to connect with the computer, but hope to in future videos for the camera. So you can change your deck style as well. I recommend keeping it to the French deck. I've set the game up. We're playing a quick game so we can get scoring quicker. One round, three hands, tournament type, no classic scoring, Ramash, no Ramash, so we won't talk about that. And the Contra and Re is off as well, the normal mode. As you can see, top right, I have have won this game a couple of times, score of 46. Alex has played against me, obviously he hasn't won because he played against me in this instance. And uh, we have Sigal, of course, who's new to playing it on this mode, hoping to learn it a bit more on here before playing it in person. So everybody is bidding. The current bid, there's no bid yet. Uh, so beforehand, we're waiting for Alex to make a bid. We have Sigal, who's the middle hand, waiting to must call a bid. And I'm the rear hand, I'm not yet involved yet. So. Regardless of what cards I have, I've got nothing else to do. I'm waiting for Alex to make his move. I think it says Seagal needs to make a bid. All right. Seagal, by all means, if you might need to hit the refresh button, so you might need to press the F5 or something on your keyboard or whatever you're using. Hey. Bit. Have you made a bid? Yes, I did. All right. Uh, let me just refresh my screen. I cannot see any updates. Uh, no, I don't know about you, Alex. I can't see any updates to the screen presently. Uh, I can't either. After that. So, Zagal, there's something else that seems like it's still your turn. It's still got the hourglass spinning, which means you still have to do something. Not one spinning usually. Okay. I understand. Uh, wait, I want to take it here. 18. I made 18. Right. Do you All see right. it? I can't recall what that means now, but uh, you've done something. You must you must click accept or do something because, uh, yeah, the game can't continue until you've continued whatever you're selecting. 
I don't know what to do because I made the bid here. And then well, my send next me a, bid. Well, an instant message uh, on WhatsApp. So maybe take a photo and then I can tell you what you've done or not done. Or maybe what you should do is just click on uh, on the screen. If you go to the bottom of the screen where the chat is, you can click the uh, you show your mouse cursor. And right now I'm doing mine and Alex can do his. And you can see we can see what you are selecting. Can you see? We're moving our mouse around. Yeah. Green is very useful for here. Click here. And then on the right. Mm -hmm. What does it say on the top banner? So, like the, the bit where it says. Yeah, so maybe what you should do, do you want to send me a WhatsApp message, you know, a photo of your screen? I know I don't want to yeah. see your hands, but yeah. do that yeah. and I'll tell you what you need to click, maybe. We did create this game about a week in advance. Uh, of course, Seagal could have selected stuff. Right, right, here we go. There we go, you need to offer the bid. You happen to hit the blue button. So you need to do it twice, you need to confirm. Hit that blue, off, off, off. it's gonna be up the top here, like around there. Off yeah, I've got it, so 18, wow. Um, oh, you got it. How do you get Alex? Was it in Discord? No, no, i just seen that the, the turns moved on, that's all. Um, oh, okay, I haven't seen that yet. Let me refresh the page. No, I was your turn, that's why. It's 18, I can't recall, that's uh, a score of 18? That's quite low, actually. I think that's yeah, quite well, low. Isn't so... it 90 or something, 100, 120? Yeah, yeah, the, the points is up to a max of 120, so... so yeah, let's, uh, I can we speed it along and get to, I don't know, at least 40 or 60 or something like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably keep accepting bids till it gets to about 40 to 60. Isn't it faster than that? Can't you just, uh, that's the slow way of doing it, isn't it? No, you, you, I don't think, I think this is the quickest way of doing it, ironically enough. Okay. So I've got to be careful I'm not pressing it too quick. Uh, so, so Alex, what's your views on Port Royal, the board game? Do you reckon you might be able to somehow... Uh, have you played Port Royal before, just whilst you're taking your turns? Uh, I've never played it, no. You're I've heard it's going to be game? good. But... Cool. Yeah, I think Peter has it, but I've never yeah, yeah, played I've got, it. Yeah, I've got all the expansions and stuff, and I've pre-ordered the big box. But if you maybe are free at some point this week, we could do... Um, yeah, maybe Saturday morning, if that works we could do a play test. So I'll have to use a video, maybe like a live stream. And then if, if you're involved, we can um, we can do that to, only because they could have, I want to offer a select bid. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm just trying to speed it along. Uh, you must decide if you want to pick up the SCART. So I'm going to say, oh, I've won it. All right, I'm going to pick it up, see what I get. Okay, now I can discard cards. So we don't know what the trump suit is, but um, yeah, we do know that those jacks are typically What's well, interesting because the jack the pit values are two so if you scroll down you can see strategy tips and stuff and it's annoyingly barely empty but you can see what values various things are so um, yeah the jack isn't worth many points but of course it's a higher rank so based on that i'm thinking do i want to win it or not win it based on how many different cards i have of different suits i need to lose two cards i think that's quite an easy call to be honest Right, now I can choose the game to play. Uh, so again, I thought I'd keep it really easy and keep it null. Um, but yeah, I'll keep it null um, and play that selected game. Uh, you're not allowed to play this null game when you'll bid a value of 23 or lower than your final bid. Okay, I'm gonna call that one. Let's try, I can't, annoyingly, I can't see, let me close the thing out, um, what I have in front of me. Um, no, I don't want to play that one. I'm going to go for, yeah, that one. The game value is lower than your bid. You may lose this game due to overbidding. Will you proceed to cancel? All right. I might go for null overt. Or maybe I'll go for grand. I don't know. Let's go for that. Um, so you're playing null overt. Um, okay. So I think the trick of null over is you're not allowed to take a single trick. So no press for you, Simon. Oh dear. It's my turn? Yep. Yeah. It'll yes. Prompt. It'll prompt. If you have sound, you can put your sound on 
and we'll hear it go bang, bang, bang. But I'm aware you're using a game. You're both using a gaming headset, so I'm not gonna. Well, I'm. I'm gonna bring my. Uh, I must play diamonds. See what you see. What it suggests. See what it allows is in terms of the graphical. Only diamonds. All right. So now it's my turn to play. I'm not looking to win any tricks, so I'll play. That. So you've lost the trick, really. Which you? is good, isn't it? I'm trying to lose. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, that's true. That's a good point. You're trying to lose every trick. Yeah, I've got no, that. Now. Poker face. I shouldn't have told you my strat. My strategy was to yeah. play it as it says to play. So um, I should. So technically, we're trying to get Simon to lose the game by winning a trick. So this should be quite easy, Simon. <laughs> I think you've won that trick. I did. There you go. You lose. Okay, so I lost 90 points. <laughs> 92 points. And I had such good hands as well. Right. Why 92? Because the total value of all the cards between all of us was 92. Okay. You think so? Yep. Yeah, I, I don't know about obviously knowing everyone's hands, but um, Board Game Arena calculates it automatically. So if you scroll um, down, uh, so go out, you'll see the points of those cards. Can you see the points? Yeah, up, it has a table, table, basically. I see on... that the bid was 46, and you lose twice the bid. Correct. So it's because there's two of you, you get 92. Okay. Okay, well, I got that totally wrong. Sorry about that. Um, now yeah. I have to bid? Yep. Yeah. You always know it's your turn. Okay. Where can okay. We can always say it's your turn. Um. So for YouTube and various other reasons, all right, I'm going to accept that and just try and go gung ho again. Must hold a bit or pass. Mm. So Sagal might not win because you've gone for 20 points. So she's hoping, well, uh, that suggests she's got terrible cards, which means I've got to have good cards, really. If I don't, then Alex has got very good cards. He's going to go solo, and then he's going to win. Does that make sense? <laughs> Why are you not stopping? <laughs> well, um, that is a good point. That is a good point. I've just lost 92 points. Could give me a chance to win it back. I'm not sure you can bid so high. <laughs> yeah, you can bid crazy high. No, I'm not uh, sure because you have to bid the amount of the uh, jacks twice two. I think so. Wasn't aware of that. Never mind. Let's play. We are. I'm waiting for Alex to. He's calculating if he thinks he's got <laughs> enough points himself. Hey. Let's see what cards you've got, Simon. Let's see if you've got some good cards or not. I'm going off their suggestion. Hmm. Jack straight off the bat. Wow. You play grand. Yeah, that's true. That's. Uh... So you have to pull your jacks. We do if we have any jacks. I'm not sure someone's got. You have any. to have. <laughs> oh, no. Shazam! Lightning from the hands. <laughs> uh, Let's play a card. Shazam! <laughs> How many checks do you have? Oh man. Right. Halavajala. Well, you must have run out of jacks now. There's only four jacks. Lightning from the hands. It's a magic trick with cards. You could have my eight. It's worth nothing. <laughs> Shaboy! Right. 
Uh, now nah, it gets difficult. I'm pretty confident you used up all your good cards now. Pretty oh, confident. Oh dear. David Drainpipe. Uh, David. Dobladosh. Who won this? You this did. one? Me? Ah, okay. Simon did. No, no, I did. Oh, that's so yeah. Just, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Apologies. Red Sparrow. The red one won, right? Yeah. Yeah, you did. You did. Okay. I was looking at the wrong bit. Okay, so I have to give a, a card now. Let's see. Right. A queen. Um, a Koenig, Koenig Princess, Araya. Um, yum, 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 yum. Oh yeah. Get my points back. Get my points back. That might be a mistake. Blast. Do I have enough points? I don't think so. Might do. Oh no. I maybe may I messed that up. Oh no! <laughs> How many points did I get? I you got minus one hundred and forty-four. That's why I shouldn't bid on so <laughs> so many points. Right, now you two are in a competition because one of you wants to do it. Otherwise, it's going to be a tie. I think. So one of you. Yeah, it's only three rounds, out. isn't it? So. Um... So basically, so we are going to try and outbid each other. And then you're going to hope to jump in and do it. So Alex is like, well, Simon's going to go really high. You're going to have to ho hopefully go even higher than that, basically. So the thing is, I, I guess I could go as high as I like. But then Alex, of course, doesn't want to go too high and lose. And then have, obviously, Seagal. But then Seagal could take it back. So I don't know how that could work out. With my cards, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that's a poker face. I think that means, yeah, you don't have good cards. <laughs> Maybe it's double love. Maybe Seagal has excellent cards. It could be a double love. The fact this is recorded, I feel like that's a bad strat, maybe, unless she's trying to become a professional SCART celebrity commentator alongside myself. What? Uh, SCART? Me? Yeah. It's your turn. Pick it up or leave it up. Let's pick. Oh, I'm picking it up. I never wanted to pick it up. I'm going to move two cards. Let's see what I am going to play. Oh, dear. I can't see what I'm playing now. Oh, dear. Uh, let's go for that one. Oh. I'm going to sit. Yeah, so I've gone for overbidding. Let's see what happens. So, so what's diamonds? Up? So that's where diamonds are the trick. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Um, hmm. That's 11 points. That is 22 points. Now this is 36 behind. 
136. 236 right. behind. 236 going once. And if I refresh this, this should. Enjoying it, Seagal? <laughs> Bring back memory. We're at the end of the game. <laughs> oh, okay. Heckle my shackle. Right. <laughs> Kama, Kama. Gamma, gamma, Lemillion. Um, must play Trump. But I'm playing Trump. I have um, nine. Ah, diamonds. I need to play diamonds. Why? Because. Um, Simon shows diamonds at the start, so it's only trumps or diamonds we can play. Uh, jacks or diamonds. Ah, uh, or jacks or diamonds. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Right. So I need to follow suit with the club. Unless I play. Oh, no. Play the wrong card. Maybe not. Uh, no. Um, what to do now? What to do? Okay. Ooh. Sin. Now, this is where I guess. Good. Shaboy. Who won? I did. The diamond? Yeah. Okay. Um, but why is that? Because. The the heart is stronger than the diamond. The heart is stronger than the diamond, correct. And I know the diamond is stronger because I chose diamonds as the as the we're playing diamonds. Right, up well there, I won it again. On a roll. I think if I can still come last, I'm just here to show you. I shouldn't have done a scoring game. Ba -ba -ba. Silence of the lambs. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I want that. More points. You realise you've got loads of diamonds. You realise that? Oh. Shonk. Oh no, nothing but diamonds. And I somehow lost the points. I overbid. It did warn me I'd overbid. <laughs> Sigal, you won! Yes, so we have tiebreaker. So she won the tiebreaker. Oh, it's so funny. Funny? <laughs> no, it's it's not enough for learning. Not enough for learning? No. Really? What's the problem? I need strategy here. Okay, so the strat this is a hard game to have strategy, okay? It's very difficult because you do not know what your opponents have. And you're going to be working with one of your opponents. So that's the situation. You're going to be having to make your decisions based on what they're doing. You're, you're playing your cards and you're betting based on how much they're betting. Does that make sense, Alex? Yep. Does that make sense, Sigal? Yep. No. Cool. So that makes sense in terms of how you need to think about strategy. It's a very, it's a challenging game. It's a difficult game to master because it's a bit like bridge and stuff. You, it's interesting. I like the idea of the asymmetry. So you are either wanting to win the game yourself, but then you could choose to uh, abort. But if you're abort, you could have good cards, and therefore whoever chooses to try and challenge and win playing solo, you've actually got strong cards yourself. 
So realistically, yeah. you might choose to do that. The disadvantage to doing that is the person who does go solo gets to thin their deck. So they get to remove two cards and bring in better cards. And they can get to choose a suit. So you need to have a good reason. Uh, and also, you want to ensure that you're bidding high enough that it's not too easy for the opponent. And that just comes with practice. The more games you play, you start realizing that, you know, 44 points or whatever. And as you play more and more, and if you want to play on Borgin Arena more, Sigal, I recommend going premium because, as Alex will tell you, you can see the stats to see how often, how many points, for example, um, what the average score is. Um, basically, when do they concede? And if you scroll down, you can see some of this information. You can see one as the declarer, and perhaps Alex can reveal to us, you know, the average. So the one as the declarer is how much, on average, people play against this. You compare it against everybody else, and keep an idea as to how people are playing, as to what you should be doing differently, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, when, and when you start... You know, that, sorry, go ahead. There are rules for the bid. Yep. You cannot bid whatever you want or think or yes. wish. Correct. Do you know uh, the rules? So if there are other variants, um, but I think it's much easier to just um, wait until you win maybe now two games of this game. And as you start to realize that, as you've noticed, by not bidding, you can win the game. Now, that might seem a bit boring, but actually uh, it goes to show that you should be conservative with your with your gameplay. You should be slow balling it, you know, trying to only play a little bit and think, you know, I'm going to let somebody else fail. It's always a failure game more than a winning game, if that makes sense. But as you start to play more and more, there are lots of variants like Ramash and the Contra and stuff like that, which you can add to your game. Um, also playing, obviously, the Null game can be difficult to win at. Whereas going Very back, difficult. Yeah. So it can be really beneficial. Like if you have bad hack, bad cards, then... That's the kind of thing to go for. But in that instance, you're bidding, you're bidding a lot of points, you know, you're trying to, you're bidding a lot of cards. But of course, equally, that means your opponents probably have lots of cards because there's no twos to sixes in the game. So they, it's a bit like poker whereby, you know, there's a little bit of information and they know, well, if I've got these cards, they can't have these perhaps, or all they can have is equal to me. So it's, it's that, it's very, as with many games, it's not like chess, whereby all the information is in front of you. You're trying to deduce and work with that, and you'll never know all the information. But it's a it's a quick game, as you can see, and it's just maybe a bit of fun. Whereby ultimately, do you want to play? It's like any game. Do you like? All right, today I fancy playing a game whereby I'm playing by myself against opponents, so one against many, or I'm playing uh, with somebody else and hoping to cooperatively get a better score than somebody else, and then you're successful ultimately it's played over for example at least three rounds and at some point whoever you're playing well with you're going to have to sever that partnership so that you can win yourself if that makes sense mm -hmm. what does ramsh play so ramsh is a different one it's one of the kind of earlier of the, of the various different things you can score um by all means i wasn't going to try and confuse you on on the various different types of uh, of, of play if that makes sense but um, yeah, there's uh, Ramash is a game that basically plays where an all three players pass. So basically, it's widely uh, followed that it's, 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 it neglects the, the official rules, let's say, um, because um, that can be quite hard to understand how to play it like that. But basically, only jacks are trumps, and each person plays for themselves with the objective of taking the fewest pips. It's basically a free amount of points in tricks. Um, but there are several versions. Um, the best version is the forehand. Uh, so obviously, a forehand, middle hand, and stuff like that. The forehand takes a scart and they pass the two cards face down to the middle hand. They pass two cards face down to the rear hand, who then rejects two cards face down to form a new scart. This goes to the winner of the last trick. So you're trying to now uh, draft and change your cards. Um, and of course, the uh, that rear person is going to know what the middle person has, and they might know a little bit about what they could have got from the from that forehand. Mm. So can forehand, we play that? Uh, we can try and give it a go. Um, of course, this goes to the winner of the last trick, and whoever captures the last number of pips subtracts that from their score. Um, and it typically, yeah, you play just those three uh, deals automatically followed in agreed events, um, such as the losing bid. So we'll play that, and then can we'll wrap up. So, yeah, we'll play a Ramash. Uh, can you see my cards and tell me what to do? Um, well, we could see your cards, but then, of course, you wouldn't be playing, if that makes sense. Tell you what we'll no do. problem, because uh, you spoke English so... 
That's fine. Fast, so I didn't so understand everything. We, we'll play for the next 15 minutes and I'll stop the recording. Okay. And we'll then continue this game turn-based, okay? Which means you can have the time to watch the video. You have the time to then uh, decide what moves you want to make whenever you want, like tomorrow, the next day, something like that, if that makes sense. Okay. So now what you need to do is you need to hit start game. So you might need to refresh your screen to see that. Wait. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm still waiting for you. Let me just hit the refresh. Button. I need to lose cards, right? Um, sort of, yes. Uh, what you're trying to do is you're going to take, you're trying to improve your hand by, depending on which position we're going to be sat in around the table, you're going to be discarding two cards and giving it to the next person. Okay. Okay. Remember, there are let's no try. trumps and only dra only jacks are trumps. Okay. And you're trying okay, to let's again. try. So let's give it a go. We're still waiting for you to, to accept. You might need to refresh your screen to okay, see. That. Again, return to main site. Okay, everyone started, go to the game. Right, so now we've got all the cards and now we're looking to pass cards and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna hold the bid. So remind me, Alex, are we trying to win cards, lose cards? What, in scat? Um, in in uh, Ramash scat, Ramash scat. Oh, I can't remember, I'm afraid. All right, do you know what? That's what we're doing. We're playing to double check it. As I said, uh, there are no official rules for a mash, but it's played obviously enough that uh, it's chosen that people do it, and hence why such an example exists. As with many card games, they've always evolved, and including Doppelkopf and stuff like that, people choose to play as they wish. Um, I must admit, I can't believe my cards looking at them. So of course, I might be playing low cards, remember? I might have low cards, I'm just trying to bid you up. Maybe I've got middling cards. I'm like, all right, well, if I've got middling cards, one of you is going to have good cards and one of you is going to have maybe good cards too. So I'm going to drop out, but we'll see. Right, I'm going to pick it up again just to see what we have. Oh, dear. Okay, that's good. Remove those cards. I'm going to You're going to play Ramash, are you? Uh, grand is you and you win them all, isn't it? Yeah. So let's have another look. Uh, yeah, let's go Grand. We must play. And Ramash? I thought you were doing Ramash. Oh, that is Ramash. Yeah, this is Ramash. We're playing Ramash. Go to oh, the top right. It's brand. No, no, but Ramash is the scoring type. So the game options, top right, press your burger icons, mm -hmm. the three um, horizontal lines. That's Ramash. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I see. Ramash. Okay. It's not, the, it's not a game type, it's a scoring type. Right, okay. I'm with you. Okay, now... Tell me what I have to do. Um, so you always have to follow suit. So um, follow yeah. suit. Yeah. If you and, can. Uh, yeah, and Jack. And always... lose. Follow suit and lose. Oh uh, well, you can't. You, you are going to lose because it's a Jack. You can't beat a Jack. How many Jacks? Have you... I thought you said your hands were bad. <laughs> you got a strange idea. What a bad hand is. Um. Three jacks. Wow. Um, have you enjoyed a seven? Mm. You had four jacks and you <laughs> thought you had a bad hand. Well, I didn't I like the bluff. Hand. I like the bluffing that went on there, Simon. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> I didn't say that, but if you listen to the YouTube video later, I didn't say I had a bad hand, I didn't think. Oh, what? Oh, I did with it. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, Right. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, I don't even know what to do now. Uh... <laughs> this, this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'd say you totally cheated. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I had the highest cards possible for everything. I was unbeatable. I won every trick. 168 points! Woohoo! I won that every single was bonkers. card. Why is that? Because in the Ramash you have to lose your points. So, the way it works is you're trying to get the fewest pips, is how I understand it. Um, so I didn't say losing your points. But um, whoever gets, um, it's a, so whoever gets the most, how do I say it, captures the largest number of pips, okay? So I don't understand what pips relates to, but this instance, you do want the most. I didn't say to lose it, you're just trying to change out your cards. Um, but no, in this instance, obviously, based on how it's been coded, you want them the most. So if I were you, I would play it this way, and that is to play to win the most, the most cards. So now, just to so just to, assuming that's all correct and stuff like that, now in this particular, the second round, I've got some decisions to make. Do I choose to go for winning the trick or losing the trick and just hoping to not lose enough that the person who wins it gains 168 points, if that makes sense? Lose. That was ridiculous. I had four jacks. I had all the aces. You had like four right. aces. Had, uh, I've I never had, seen a hand like I had, that. I had the, exactly I had the tens under it as well. And then I had the king, which was, I already had the ace and the jack and the ten four as well. So. Uh, I've never seen a hand like that. That was, as you said, unbeatable. Yeah. Pretty much. It was, it was actually unbeatable anyway. I played it, to be honest. But I just felt like if I play it that way, I just felt like I might keep you alive. Like trying to play other cards. Oh dear, yeah, you're rattling to try and catch up with me now, and I might hopefully be there, race for the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it might just be a bluff, isn't it? I might just be driving up the bidding. Okay, 48, not too high, but I will, hmm, I'll pass. So the reason I'm doing that is I maybe want to win some points, but not win all of them. So that's a third way of thinking about how they win the game to go. Either winning the point, winning the hand outright, or trying to have enough points to win your opponent, or just trying to win some of the points to ensure that the solo player doesn't win. Um, let's just do grand, I guess. Uh, let me just check, actually. Wait, no, I changed my mind. Simon, it's us against uh, Alex. Yes. Right? Let's move it up. Yep, compared. Yeah, let's do grand. Okay. <laughs> how to play, how to play. Okay, so what do we have? Something to win. Hmm. It's like I might have made a mistake doing that. Why is that? I think I can uh, get some bonks. 
Oh, you don't want to use your jack yet? I wasn't planning on doing it. By this point. Why is that? Tempo or? Yeah, sometimes you want to, well, you want to lure your opponents in, don't you? So. Right. Um, okay, so based on what you've played, can't win against it. I'll play that card. Oh yeah, so this that microphone I have doesn't work with the computers, laptops. All right, you're playing off that, are ya? Oh, oh dear. Let's pretend. So yeah, so Gary doing the right thing, playing low cards which don't score points for Alex. <laughs> Ooh. I have a problem here. Okay, so we're keeping on scoring here. Let's just zoom out a bit. Okay, a bit more. Okay, what I want to play. Um, okay, I'm going to go with that. Oh dear, so you've given him three points. So the chamber doesn't tally them as you go. That's a, that's a tricky thing. Maybe that's the whole point. You're not fully certain. Oh, you did have a double jack. Double jacker. <laughs> this is not fun. It's like a role reversal, isn't it? It's like a role reversal, Simon. Yeah. But remember, you don't have to follow suit if you want to, Sigal. I know. Cool. All right, you've learned. Fantastic. Okay, there were 10. Oh dear. Oh, grief. Who won this trick? I did, because if I didn't follow suit, it meant that I won it because no one else was suit with a higher value. If you look up here, uh, Sigal, you can see, you can see who's winning the trick. It should be on the right hand side of the screen. Yeah, I see here on, uh, oh. up, but uh, the queen was club, and I put one S. Um, um, no. uh, ace is the higher, and ace is the higher value, but because I I started the the trick with a diamond, you had to have a, an ace diamond. Ah, this diamond was the first one. It. Okay. Yeah, so you had to have an ace diamond or a jack diamond, and I'd already played those cards, so right, so you're knew there's that, no way you could have that. it. I want to give you the lowest points possible, or I'll give you that. Because I'm going to win that trick, because I'm basically got high cards, pretty much. Okay. Win. Oh, so that, you're beating me on this one. All oh, right, so now... Good point, thank you. You didn't notice that. I'm going to give you extra points. Oh, no. No. Shouldn't have mentioned it. This could be good. Yay. Alex still did it. He managed to get enough points. Final um... hand. Final hand of the game. Sigal needs a bid or a... Thinking about it. All right, no worries, take it down. You passed early, Simon. I suppose there's no need for you to get involved in the bidding now, is there? Nope. Uh... Yeah, good point. Oh, no. I think this might go horribly wrong. So what Alex is thinking is... I guess he has to bid against me. Oh, wow. This is easy for Alex to win, surely. He just needs to get 20 points. I mean, Alex is going to win the game because he only needs to get 20 points to win. Is that right? Um, so, Sigal, I think you've given the hands to Alex here. Yeah. I think you're going to come last. From first to last. 
How's my teaching going if maybe. that happens? Well, maybe not. It could all go horribly wrong. Uh... That was not what I expected people to do. Just do ground again. It's the easy one. Yeah, if you're going to win a game, go for ground. Not fun, ground. <laughs> Sorry. It's the easy one, I always think. Okay. Here's your grand. Hell yes. Right. You're laying down that. Uh, highest card possible. I want to give not, you some points. Not this one. The clubs is the highest. Uh, no, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. no, you're right. Sorry. It's so small on my screen now. I want to give you... Oh, got to play a Jack Blast. Jack Blast. Him. So who has it? That is the question. Maybe you do have two. Yeah, he's got it. So he's got six points. Ace in the hole. Okay. Oh no, Billy. So he's up to 17 points or no, oh, that's it, 20 points and he's won it. He's caned it. So Alex will be seeing on Tuesday for Terra Mystica. Uh, maybe some King of Tokyoing. Right. Um, oh no, yes, that's good. So do you need to get 40 points? All right, ace. I want to help you out with the ace if I can. I'll give you that. Yeah, that's the right call because we know all the jacks are gone, I think. Nearly all gone. Yeah, it's a very interesting game, isn't it? Whereby the highest card isn't actually worth too many points. It's actually the least amount of points at score. So yeah, oh no, this isn't going to be good. Why would you play that? Why are you playing a jack? Well, I you think you have to follow suit. In this instance. Oh man. Um... Yes, good thing I played it then. Yeah, there's no way I could beat that jack. Beat that jack. Beat that jack. Shaboy. Dregs. I think that's it. Alex will have won because he got enough points. With that very, very low cheap bid. And there it is. Scoring up. Oh, he lost it. So I happen to be the winner that time. Um, so my uh, late game worked. So he lost the game because two points were up. Base value. Okay, there we have it. That has been, obviously, the game of Scott. Thanks very much. I'm going to hit stop on the recording now. And yeah, three, two, one.